Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas has, by many accounts, violated government ethics law by accepting gifts, vacations, tuition payments, and free private jet and yacht transpo from one super wealthy Nepo baby, Harlan Crow. Who is he? Before we get into Harlan, it's worth noting that Clarence Thomas has not denied receiving these gifts, but has denied any wrongdoing here. He says he was counseled by others in the judiciary that personal hospitality from close personal friends who did not have business before the court was not reportable. Now let's get back to the man supplying this personal hospitality, Harlan Crow. Harlan's father, Trammell, was once the biggest landlord in the country, making a pretty penny in the real estate market. In fact, a Crow property was the destination of President JFK when he was gunned down. Once Trammell passed, he left all the power to Harlan. Harlan used this fortune to buy expensive uh, artifacts, like several statues of various despots, a copy of Mein Kampf signed by its author, Adolf Hitler, various paintings by Hitler, several other Nazi artifacts, and also a life-size replica of Hagrid's hut from Harry Potter, which is in the backyard of his upstate New York compound. Because you know what they say, a house isn't a home until you have a statue of Stalin, a painting by Hitler, and the giant's house from Harry Potter in your backyard. I'm pretty sure they say that. When he's not chilling in Hagrid's hut, he's bankrolling Republican causes, which I guess he could be doing from the hut. I don't know, who knows? A longtime donor to the Republican Party, Harlan has given tens of millions to politicians, as well as groups like the Federalist Society. He also helped found the Club for Growth, a conservative dark money group. What's raised the most eyebrows, however, is his close-knit relationship with a member of the highest court in the land. Clarence Thomas. I'll get this out of the way now. We don't know if Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas, 74, has chilled inside Hagrid's hut, okay? Thanks to reporting by ProPublica, we do know Thomas has spent many, many summers on this compound. So, you know, maybe. We also know Harlan has been extremely generous to Thomas over the last few decades, essentially bankrolling his life. Thomas has taken international trips on Harlan's super yacht and his private jet and vacationed at his various estates. Harlan gifted Thomas a Bible owned by Frederick Douglass valued at $19,000. Harlan paid $6,200 a month in boarding school tuition for Thomas's grandnephew. He bought Thomas's mother's house and put $36,000 worth of renovations into it. He coughed up $105,000 to Thomas's alma mater, plus another $150,000 $50,000 to a library for the creation of a wing in Thomas's name, and so on and so forth. If I kept going, I'd be here all day. You get the picture. Of the gifts mentioned, Thomas has only disclosed the $19,000 Bible and just one of the many jet trips. Many ethics lawyers believe Thomas has time and time again violated a federal disclosure law passed in the wake of Watergate that requires the disclosure of most real estate sales north of $1,000, gifts valued at more than $415, and all transportation. This has prompted calls for impeachment among members of Congress. The Senate Finance Committee has called on Harlan to provide it with a list of gifts he has given the Supreme Court justice over the years. But the billionaire has refused to cooperate, possibly because they just don't make paper that long.